I'll try to cut off the electricity. Hopefully that will disconnect the door security lock. Oops. Looks like I turned off the electricity for the whole floor. I better act fast before someone comes. It worked. The door is open. Urban's phone will really help me. I better bring this to Judy. Maybe she can track some of his calls. I should be careful with that. The phone might be all I need. I should leave before someone finds out I'm here. My job here is done. Better get out quickly before someone shows up. I'm telling you, that guy's out of his mind. I hear you, buddy. But you can't argue with the money. Oh no. Someone is coming. I don't understand why anyone would want to work here voluntarily. Beats me. If I didn't have a mountain of debt, I'd quit this madhouse tonight. And I'd be right behind you. How's the consulting business been lately? I don't want to talk about it. This year's been a disaster. I haven't had a chance to refocus since that nightmare you and I went through. I still can't believe it really happened. I think about it every day. It was horrible. But on the other hand, if old Elmstadt is finally dead, maybe it was worth it. As long as we don't have to deal with them again. I hope I never see those. Shh! Keep it down! They might be listening. Yeah, yeah. Just turn the lights back on and let's go get a drink. <sighs> that was close. Well, now I know for sure that Raban had something to do with my father's death. But who were they talking about? I shouldn't stick around to find out, though. I need to get out of here. Hi. You're back. What can I do for you? All I could find was his phone. That might be enough. Let's check it out. Okay, show me something good, baby. Show me something good. Hmm. Looks like he only used this phone to call his family. Maybe a few people from the office. Nothing out of the ordinary. So it's useless? Maybe he has a second phone. Doubtful. He's got anti-scan on this one, and that's illegal. He wouldn't risk putting that on a second device. Anti-scan? Aren't you scanning it now? Because I have the physical phone. You can't scan him wirelessly. I see. Sorry, buddy. I can take a closer look, but I doubt there's anything deeper than what's for dinner calls. Okay, well, give it back to me then. I heard a strange conversation between two men outside Raban's office. They said they were glad my father is dead because they were afraid of them. Any thoughts on who they are? Could be anybody, unless... No, that would be insane. What? Tell me. There was a string of cases not unlike your father's murder back in the 80s. Within a year, we had four or five killings, all of them suspiciously similar. It was a big deal back then. The whole force was on it. We learned about it at the academy. Everybody had a different theory, but there was one I found particularly convincing. Which is? Some say there's an underground organization in the city. They mostly lay low. Some drug money here, blackmail money there. But when push comes to shove, they take care of those who oppose them. 
You're talking about an organized crime syndicate. Some kind of secret mafia? Very secret. The papers ran stuff on it at the time. You can find it easily enough in the library. Thanks, Judy. I'll look into it. Anytime. See you around. Good afternoon. Hello there. How may I help you? I'd like to use a computer. Of course, sir. May I please see your library card? I actually don't have one. But I need to use a computer. It's urgent. I am sorry, but the computers are for members of this library only. I'll be quick. I promise. I can pay you. I'm sorry. That's impossible. Rules are rules. No exceptions. Okay. I'd like to sign up for a library card then. I apologize, but you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Why is that? Because the only librarian who can register new members is Hillary, and today is her day off. You're kidding. Is there any way I can access a computer without a card? Sorry, dear. No. I have to go now. Goodbye, dear. Excuse me. Yes? What can you tell me about this library? It's the oldest in the city. Been here for at least a century. They've updated it and modernized it, of course. But you can still feel the history in the walls. I love that about this place. I know what you mean. I feel it too. I thought I was the only one. This is a magical place. I spend all my time here. Best thing about being a bookworm is that no matter how many hundreds of books you may have read, there are always thousands more right there waiting for you. Exactly, my friend. You understand. What are you doing? Can't you see? I'm rather busy. I apologize, sir. Can I help you somehow? Pfft. I deeply doubt that. Why is that? Because no one can help me. Unless you're a psychic. <laughs> what do you mean? I am looking for something that is impossible to find. I see. Let me help you, please. But you have to tell me what it is you're looking for. I am looking for a woman I met more than ten years ago. And these are... Phone books, yes. All I know is that her name is Mary. That's all you know? There's no way you'll be able to find her like this. There are dozens of phone books here, and each must have hundreds of Marys in them. And I call each and every one of them. Well, you were probably right. I don't see how I can help. Uh, if only I had an older version of these phone books. They used to organize them by district, and that would be much easier. I know she lived in the Fleetwood district. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. See you for now. Bye. Here, sir. Try this. My goodness! This is the version I was looking for! Where did you get it? In an old place. So, let me see. No. Look at this! There is only one Mary in the Fleetwood district. This must be her. Thank you very much, young man. Is there any way I can do something for you? Actually, you could help me with something. I need to access the computer, but I'm not a member of the library. No problem, my friend. Here, you can borrow my card. Thank you kindly, sir. I can finally call her now! Good afternoon.
Hello there. How may I help you? I have to go. Goodbye. So I have a card. Can I use the computer now? Of course, dear. Let me see. Wait a minute. This is not your card. This is Jake's card. Yeah, he lent it to me. Just for today. Is that okay? Jake, did you loan your membership card to this gentleman? Yes, I did. He's a wonderful young man and I owe him one. Okay, if Jake says it's all right, you can use the computer. Thank you very much. Here's something. February 1983. Will the killing ever stop? Last night, another politician was found dead. Stephen Broadman, a top advisor to the mayor, was murdered in his summer home just a few miles outside the city. This marks the sixth murder in two years of individuals connected to the mayor or the city council. Detective Howard J. Proctor, the head of the investigation, said in a statement, We are working with our best men, and I can assure you we are very close to ending this madness. Detective Proctor declined to comment on whether the killings might be politically motivated or if the police have discovered any other connections between the murders. Hmm. Interesting. i better find out more about this Detective Proctor. He may have some useful information. First, I need to find out where he lives. There's only one person who can help me with that. Here's your card, sir. Thank you very much for the favor. Thank you, my boy. Hey, Judy. Can you run a name for me? Who is it? A detective who worked on the old murder cases from the 80s. His name is Proctor. Heard of him? Proctor... Proctor... Sounds familiar. I want to pay him a visit, if he's still in the city. Can you get me his address? Just a second. Alrighty, Howard James Proctor, former detective, studied criminal justice, okay, okay. Married, wife deceased, blah blah blah. Yep, here it is. Got a pen handy? It's 76 Maple Street, Apartment A. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. I owe you one. You owe me a few now. Good luck. Hello? Who's there? Are you alright? Help me! Please! How can I help? I... I'm having a seizure. I need my pills. I'll call an ambulance. No! Do not call anyone. I'd rather die than go to the hospital. What do you need me to do? Go to the pharmacy. It's just down the street. Get me heparin. Please hurry. Okay, I'll be back as soon as possible. Good afternoon. Hello. What can I do for you? I need medicine. Heparin. Right away. Do you have a prescription? No, I don't. But a man is in serious danger. Yeah, sure. A man is in danger. Never heard that one before. What? We don't just hand out drugs to junkies here. 
You need a prescription. You don't understand. It's not for me. This man could die. No prescription, no medicine. I'm sorry. How can you be so cruel? How can you live with yourself? Easy. I wake up, come to work, and do my job. And my job is to provide medicine to people who actually need it. How can I prove to you it's really for my friend? By providing a prescription. This is hopeless. I need to get it another way. I should go now. Goodbye. Here. Why didn't you say you work for us? I'm happy to say you passed the test. What test? I'm the regional pharmacy inspector. You didn't sell me the pills, which is correct. You shouldn't sell anything to anyone without a prescription. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Although I do have a friend who needs his heparin. That won't be a problem, will it? Of course not. I, I have it right here. Thank you. I'm giving you a perfect score on this review. I should go now. Goodbye. I came back with your pills. Please, come in. Please, give me my pills. Here you are, sir. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for me, my boy. Of course. It was no trouble. If you hadn't passed by, I don't know what would have happened. Please, have a seat. You're not one of those Jesus freaks, are you? Or here to get me to sign a petition against war in the Middle East? Because I'm so very tired of those people. No, nothing like that. So, what brings you to an old, lonely man's home? You're not a thief, I know that much. Or you would have ransacked the place and left me for dead. No, I just came to ask you a few questions. Very well. Let's have a seat then. Thank you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course not. You were a detective once, weren't you? Yes, I was. Why do you ask? I've read a lot about you. Oh, you have, have you? I didn't think anyone gave a damn about the old schoolers. You were a hell of a detective back in the day. One of the best. <laughs> I don't know about all that. It was a job. I did it better than most, I suppose. I'm sure you heard about the death of Carl Elmstadt. Of course, it was all over the news. I understand they caught the bastard. He deserves to rot in prison. Though nowadays, prison is for girls. These degenerates spend all day watching TV, going to the gym, studying! <laughs> Might as well be a spa resort. Back in my day, prison was hell. If you murdered a good man like Carl Elmstadt, you were made to feel the full, brutal force of the law. Who's Elmstadt to you? I'm Richard Elmstadt, his son. Oh. I'm so sorry, my boy. I can't imagine your pain. But you can help me. How's that? Can't you see it? The mayor promises change and reform. Then, he's assassinated. Sound familiar? You're referring to the cases I closed more than 30 years ago. They were solved, my boy. What does your father have to do with them? The same people did it. You know it. Know what? There is a secret society that rules this city. They're not elected. 
They exist in the shadows. You're drawing conclusions based on conspiracy theories. Am I? Either way, your father's case is closed. They caught his killer. What else is there to do? I can't let them get away with this. And you plan to reopen the investigation all by yourself? <laughs> That's madness. Help me or don't. You can't change my mind. I was a young man with crazy ideas once, too. If some old man told me it was impossible, I told him to shove off and did it anyway. <laughs> Very well. I will help you if I can. This was no ordinary break-in. It was a planned assassination, just like in the cases you worked so many years ago. Those cases are closed. Cold-blooded thieves in the night, nothing more. But you don't believe that. You're not on the force anymore. You don't have to lie to me. At this point, you're only lying to yourself. All right, but what I'm about to tell you has never been proven. I came close a few times, but my superiors wouldn't hear of it. They even tried to suspend me for talking about it. I'm listening. There is a group of... people. They rule this city from the shadows. They control everything. If you step out of line, they will kill you. I knew it. As I said, I could never prove any of it. No one was allowed to investigate any case relating to the matter. I had to turn a blind eye. I had to carry on as though I knew nothing. But who are these people? Are they mobsters? A secret society? I really don't know. I only know they exist and that they've been here for decades. You must know more. There were rumors that they moved through the city using underground tunnels. But that's impossible, and I never found any reason to believe that was true. That's all I know, my boy. Thank you, sir. This has been very helpful. What about those murders you investigated back in the 80s? They were similar to my father's case, weren't they? Somewhat. Tell me what you know. Please. You caught four of these murderers. They must have told you something. No one said anything. Most of them died before I had the chance to question them. I believe there is only one still alive, but... What? It's pointless to speak to him. Why? Who is he? His name is Michael Coltrane, but everyone just calls him Crazy Mike. Spends all day rambling about aliens or monsters or some nonsense like that. After we arrested him, we had him institutionalized. What can you tell me about this crazy Mike? He was once a very talented assassin. Killed a lot of politicians across South America and Europe in the 80s. His psychiatrist claims he had an epiphany. He suddenly realized the horrors of his profession. And snap! He couldn't take the guilt. He went insane. Is he still in the same prison hospital? As far as I know. Why? I want to talk to him. And what do you plan to do? Kick down the door and demand to question a lunatic? They'll lock you up with him! You can't just visit a place like that. And even if you do see him, he won't tell you a thing. I can still picture the crazy look in his eyes when we busted his apartment. And the smell! He hadn't gotten up off the floor in a week. Pissed all over himself. Couldn't even speak except for some gibberish about the monsters. He was terrified. We never could get a confession out of him. Couldn't even get him to say a proper sentence. I can't imagine they cured him in that hospital. Still, I need to speak to him. It could help me a lot. You can try, but I wouldn't if I were you. I appreciate your help. Of course. Thank you for your time, sir. I'll let you be now. No trouble at all. It was a pleasure to meet you, Richard. Good luck with your investigation. And thanks again for helping me. You're a good man. Don't mention it.